What is going on, Swoopers? Welcome back to Swoop Luke. This is going to be a new sort of series that I'll be doing called Swoop Reviews. It'll be mainly be about maybe video games, definitely about movies and stuff, especially while the off-season happens. Um, I'll be talking about this sort of stuff. I'm a nerd. I'll talk about that later. Let's just jump into it. Before we do jump straight into it, be sure to follow me on all my social media accounts, all on the big platforms, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all Swoop Luke. If you are a new Swooper, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. And if you are a returning Swooper, welcome back. Thank you so much for rejoining me. So, of course, this is not like my usual content. I'm very passionate about the Collingwood Football Club. I'm also passionate about all my nerdy stuff, all my Marvel, DC, comics. I paint like little mini figurines. Uh, if you don't know that side of me, yes, I am a very big nerd. During the off-season, I'm going to be doing a little bit more of these, be it video games, be it um, movies. So if you want, so if there's a movie that you want me to review, leave, the, leave it down below or I'll give it a watch and I'll give you my thoughts. It'll be a pretty uh, easy review rating out of five magpies. We'll see how we go. But today, we'll be reviewing Marvel's The Eternals. We're Eternals. We came here 7,000 years ago to protect humans from the deviants. So, Marvel's The Eternals is a part of the MCU. I think it's the 26th film. I went into this movie not knowing anything about the Eternals besides, you know, the stuff that they released in their trailers and stuff like that. And this movie looked like it would be an absolute epic and it didn't disappoint. Now, if you go off Rotten Tomato scores, it's currently sitting at 48% uh, critic reviewed. I don't think they know what they're talking about, to be honest. 48% is Look, I think they were they were wanting some sort of uh, copy and paste superhero movie like a bunch of the other um, Marvel movies, but that's that's not what this is. This is an epic tale of just insane proportions that we haven't really seen in the MCU before. Chloe Zhao uh, directed this. She's a bit look. I don't really know much about. Her. I know she's a bit of an indie film director. So Marvel, you know, went a total opposite direction. Chloe, her her vision came to life on screen. So, Marvel's The Eternals, a diverse, ambitious, insanely epic Marvel movie, something that we haven't seen since its inception. Yes, Endgame was um, big, it was an epic, but The Eternals, for Chloe Zhao, the, the director and one of the writers as well, to juggle so many superheroes in one movie, but also telling a story that spans 7,000 years up until present day is just insane. So, Marvel's The Eternals is the 26th movie in the MCU. It's a part of Phase 4, and it will have ripple effects for the next at least decade or so of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This movie had so many big names and look and, and, and actors and actresses that I, I haven't seen before, but I just love them all. Gemma Chan, uh, Richard Madden, Salma Hayek, Kit Harrington, Angelina Jolie, Kumail Nanjiani, Brian Tyree Henry as Fastos, and the first openly gay Marvel superhero. So, like I said, this cast is so diverse, and just it's just having this inclusivity in movies is just amazing. Look, I can't say much as as a white dude, but like, you know, watching Shang-Chi, um, you know, what watching the first openly gay character in Marvel's The Eternals. This is representation that needs to happen and it's happening and it's absolutely amazing. But more on the movie now. You can't protect I think this movie did really well to juggle so many characters, like I mentioned previously. 7,000 years of storytelling. It was just so beautiful. All of these characters, especially with Cersei, so emotional. 
so you know the way that she the way that she thought the way that she even though she was an alien you know coming from a different planet to earth she had such human feelings and you could relate to her you could relate to uh icarus richard madden's character to sprite to to kumal uh, nanjiani's uh character as well a, a famous bollywood actor it's just you know when the marvel when the eternals split like you see in uh, the trailer so that's not a spoiler um they're doing their own thing on Earth, and they've made Earth their home, even though they were sent here 7,000 years ago to protect it. Do I think this was a 5 out of 5 movie? No. There could have been little bits here and there that could have been improved, but it was visually brilliant. I loved every single one of these characters. I loved the development of um, every single one of these characters, and I can't wait to continue seeing them in the MCU. I would classify this as a standalone sort of movie to the MCU only because it doesn't have our big sort of um, Avengers come through. Like, even in Shang-Chi, no spoilers, but you do see, um, or you do, no, you do, you do see uh, someone that we know come through. It, it, Wong, you, you see it in, in the trailers as well. Um, Wong helps um, Shang-Chi out. So, that is that feels connected. This doesn't feel connected to the MCU, but in a good way, because it's telling its own story. If you think of, I don't know if you guys have seen these uh, shows, The Boys, uh, that superhero sort of in real life on Amazon, Invincible on Amazon, you go into those TV shows and you're already in the world of superheroes. There's no building, you're familiar with them in a sense. And that's exactly what the Eternals do. They throw you in, no solo movies, and as the movie goes on, you feel like you've known these characters for the last 26 uh, sort of movies, as opposed to just half an hour in, in being with them. The movie takes place, I think it's about a week or so after Thanos' snap. Old Mate gets a name drop as well, which I did love because I'm a big Thanos stan. I uh, don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but that's, that's how it kind of connects. They talk about the snap and stuff like that. I just can't get over how well it was. And look, I might go watch it again because it was that good. And yes, I am a bit of a, obviously, Marvel fanboy. There's a bit of a bias, but I don't see how critics rate this 48% rotten and the worst rotten rated um, on Rotten Tomatoes for a Marvel movie. Then the audience have given it an 86% or something crazy like that. So you can see where the critics and the audience um, lay Trust me, if you are sitting on the fence about wanting to watch this movie, you definitely, definitely, definitely need to go and watch it. What do I rate this movie? I give it a 4 out of 5 swoops. Anyway, guys, this has been my review of Marvel's The Eternals. Um, I have never done a review. Maybe I should have scripted it. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you want me to keep doing these, amazing. Uh, that would be great. More Collingwood content coming along the way as well. But until then, like, comment, subscribe, tell your family, tell your friends, tell your pets, and until next time, double checkers, I'll sweep you later.